Hi, this is Everett, Everett's, Everett's Watercolors. Welcome to Simply Drawing with Everett, uh, 7.30 p.m. on uh, Thursday. So I'm glad you're checking in. Uh, if this is your first time uh, viewing in, uh, please uh, give me a like and subscribe to my channel. I'm broadcasting live tonight to uh, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, and I'll be on uh, Twitch and also on Instagram later on. Uh, in the studio with my wife, uh, Gloria, tonight. Welcome. And uh, she'll be monitoring the broadcast and also the chat room. If you got a question or uh, you got a question or comment, put them on the chat room, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Chat room's live, and uh, as I said before, if uh, this is the first time for checking in and this first time you've seen my channel, uh, please subscribe and uh, give me a like and a thumbs up, and uh, you'll be notified of my next video. Uh, tonight I'm going to do, of course, another drawing, uh, and I'm going to something special uh, that I like. And uh, it's something you may want to try yourself. So let me go to my uh, let me go my overhead camera and uh, let me get started and ex explain what I'm going to do. Okay, well tonight I'm going to look at uh, drawing a basic tool set. And I'm sure around the house you've got the basic tools. Uh, here I got the, a hammer, which is a, called a claw hammer. It's got you can hit nails at one end, and on the other end you can you can pull pull nails out, that's why it's called a claw hammer. And uh, this is a standard uh, screw screwdriver with a slotted, uh, slotted end for uh, normal screws. Uh, this, this is a wrench here, it's called an adjustable uh, spanner wrench. And this is where you turn the, you turn the little, you turn this little device down here, this little uh, controller, and you can open, open the bigger and smaller uh, nuts and nuts on a wrench on, on a bolt. So that's what I'm going to draw tonight And uh, the last one I have is a pair of pliers pair of hand pliers uh, And this is called a slip joint now the photograph is not right because I got to change it So the slip joint is where you can it at one position You got the regular opening and then you can slide it slip it to another position. you get a wider you get a wider angle or a wider opening for picking up things so that's why I call a slip joint on a regular pair of pliers. Okay, uh, so I'm going to show. We're going to start on drawing this, and let me show you my tools here. I've got uh, this is a uh, tough mechanical pencil. Let me show you this. I bought this at the hardware store. It's called tough mechanical pencil, made by uh, Right in the Rain, and I'll put that in the description of the video today if you're interested in, in doing that. It's got a. The lead is uh, 1.3 millimeters, which is a little bit. It's just a little bit. A thicker lead because that way it won't break on you and it's got 2b uh, Density as far as the lead is going to 2b which is a pretty dark lead and it's also can be used uh, It's an all-weather machine so you can use it outdoors any kind of weather or whatever So I bought it at the hardware store and I'm going to try it out tonight and it's got also got a nice uh, uh, Black eraser at the end which does a nice job also, but I got my standy uh, I got my handy little knee eraser anyway for marking away Construction lines and so forth got that tonight, and I've got a, a blender for uh, blending the uh, the marks For shading and so forth. So let me line this up here. All right, so we're going to draw these uh, these instruments The first first thing we do is make sure we get a placement. I'm gonna I'm gonna copy the uh, the outline here that I have I, I put this in my uh, Still life box and I took a photograph of it And uh, so I'm gonna put the put the hammer in about right this position right here where I have the pencil and then we're gonna lay out the other ones Right in line, just they are in the photograph. So let's start with let's start with a hammer about this angle here. So first of all, get yourself a placement, and uh, I'm going to do an do an approximation. Uh, let's see the put the put the handle down about right. Put down the the handle here, and get get a, a get an estimate of the length of it. And uh, then the top of it's going to be somewhere up in this area here. All right. So we, again, get a get a good placement of where you're going to put things. Maybe a little higher, maybe a little higher. Okay. All right, now the next one is a screwdriver. And uh, let's see, this, we'll place that parallel with this one almost. And it, uh, we'll start that down here. And uh, it's uh, got a different, uh, it's got like a square, it's got like a square handle. Like the, the hammer's got a more of a rounded or oval type handle. This goes in here and it goes up. So let's get down to the height. Uh, I'm going to put the length about right here. 
a little bit different, a little bit, a little bit further up than the the photograph, so I have enough space here. Okay, so I got that one located, and then the the uh, the wrench, the adjustable wrench, uh, will go will go right in this area. So I'll start here at the bottom and uh, let's give it enough space. It's got the uh, and I go up and uh, it's got a little curve to it, and uh, get the get the face get about right there, kind of get an idea of just where I'm going to put that. So what I'm doing now is I'm making a, a rough placement <clears throat> on the on my drawing paper where I'm going to put things to get a, get a good configuration. Uh, come down here to see. And there's a there's a little that hole in the in the handle is just to hang it up. You hang it up in the in your tool shop or wherever you are. It's just for hanging a hanging the tool uh, and bring us down a little bit more. And I can even bring the hammer down a little bit more, get the handle just a little bit longer. So, okay, I'm adjusting everything now according to this wrench here. Okay, then the next thing is the pliers. I love the pliers. They're, they're fun. Uh, I'm going to bring this over here. And I'm going to draw I'll draw the shape that's in the photograph, but I'm going to make a change to the slot because it doesn't show in the photograph. Uh, it doesn't show right. So if you look at the handle, it, it one is going this way. Like a figure S, and the other one goes the opposite way. It's another figure S going the opposite way, and it goes underneath. One goes on top of the other, and it'll come around on this side. So we got we got now we got space for that. Okay. Okay. All right. Now that I've got them placed, now I'm going to go ahead and start drawing in some details. Now I move just I move the bottom down here. So I'm going to put that. Uh, if I look at the picture, this is not a square, not a circle. It's like an oval at the bottom of the photograph. And I look at the handle. It's not a straight line. It's got a, a got a little. It starts out a little bit wide and it goes in. Then it has a, a thicker body in the middle. That's for the strength of the hammer. And then. It goes into the smaller uh, little, like the neck of it, like the neck in here. This is like a shoulder. And it comes on down to the bottom of the butt. And on the other side is, uh, I think it's a little wider now, a little wider. So I'm making little adjustments. Now these are guidelines. Get myself started here. These are still, I'm still going guidelines. Okay, and this is opposite now. This goes in a little bit and then it comes out, a little belly there. That's the body, and it's, then it goes in, a little slender into the neck, and up to the base, and I'll take it on up a little bit higher. Okay, then it comes across. Okay, then, then the head of the head of the hammer starts out here, and it goes, has a little angle like that. That's the metal part. And then this has a curve, comes out, and then it has this uh, the end of the hammer where you hit nails with the head of the head. The head. And then it goes straight across, has a little dip to it, and we're still working on a little bit of a, a little bit of the angles. All right, now we get the claws. The claws, there's one here, one here at the bottom. There's a, the one laying on the on the tabletop or on the bottom is this way. That comes up. Then we have a gap. This comes around. Then the other, there's a little, there's a separation there of the the claw. This is on top. It comes around to the top of the of the handle. Oh, that's the handle. This comes around up to the top of this. Okay. All right. It's starting to look like a hammer now. It's starting to look like a hammer. Okay. We'll start. Now let's go to the uh, let's go to the uh, screwdriver. So this has got this is not a round. This one's got an oval. This has got more of a, a square. So it's going to come this way. This has more of a square uh, and elongated handle here, but it's got a square bottom. It's got a square shape to it with rounded edges. These uh, these sides are straight, and then it goes. It comes in and curves. That goes in. It curves. Has a little shape there. Then it comes over the top, and the other side does the same thing. It curves in. Okay, then we got the uh, the metal part. There's a sleeve on it. This 
holds the uh, metal into the handle. There's a sleeve, a little sleeve part there. And then we go out to the actual stem or the metal part of the screwdriver. The stem, I'll call it the stem or the long part. And then at the end now, it, it, it goes out a little bit and it comes in and makes that uh, sharp edge. It's at an angle, not, not a straight line. So now then there's a flat, flat head for the flat screws. Okay, we got that one in. Now let's get this uh, adjustable spanner wrench. I'll make this a little wider now. It's a little bit wider. This is a straight line. That's a straight line right up there. Uh, this side, uh, let's see, it goes, it's a little bit, a little bit uh, wider here at the bottom. A little bit wider at the bottom. And then it, and it uh, kind of has an angle, goes in, kind of angles in. It's a little bit, it's a little bit narrower up here toward his neck. Okay, then we have this nice little curve that comes around. It's like about a 45 degree angle. Then it has a, then you have a, uh, a arc. Arcs around. You notice I'm not mentioning anything. I'm just I'm drawing what I see. I'm drawing I'm drawing an arc. I'm looking at the bottom of that now. There's a this thing comes here, it comes around. And see there's there's part of that part there's a wrench. Then it comes across straight. And this is the part that moves here. You got it's a little part that moves, so it has a little bit of give way here. It's not, it's not a solid piece. It, this, is, this goes across, and this part comes around. This is the part that comes together back and forth. That's, that's the span, the spanner. And then over here is where the uh, part of the, uh, the screw, that the screw, uh, the way you turn it, when you turn it to make it bigger or smaller, there's a screw on the end of this. And this little opening is the box, just a square box. And in there, that's the that's the thumb the thumb wheel or thumb uh, thumb wheel that you turn to to make the wrench open or close. Okay. All right. Now we go to the pliers. I like the pli I love the pliers. All right. I'll bring this side over here and bring this out so I have room to draw. All right. So uh, I'll start up here at the top. Uh, get the get the the nose of the pliers up here at the top. I'll. Start I'm giving it names. I don't know what they call them, but it's the nose. That, it's the edge of the. And then it comes. This one's curved. Put this one. Put the one on top. This is curves around. It's like an S. It's here as S curve. And this comes down. And then it it curves. Then it comes almost almost straight. Not too straight, but it's it's more straight there at the point. Okay. I make a thick handle. That fits your hand hands. Then this comes up on the other side and it it crosses over and this is where the the groove is this is where I'll, I'll take a look at the instead of the photographs I'm going to take a look at the actual item so I'm going to put and I'm going to draw what I see here now this this thing comes up and there's a there's a hole here or a slot there's a slot and then inside the slot is the the little lever that you slot in there. And I'm gonna make I'm gonna make one darker and one light. So that's the, that's the slot for the for the expansion of that of that uh, pliers. This one comes around. So I modified the uh, modified the photograph be, uh, be, because I want to put that slot in there. I mean, it's a slotted plier. This comes around. And there's also a little. Now pliers have a little way you can cut you can cut wires with this. So there's a little groove right here, right here, just part of the pliers. There's a little groove. This comes around. I'll bring these together, and I can show that there's a little there's a little space here, that part right there. Okay. Now this comes around as again as figure eight, so I'm going to come in here and do a. This is an arc. Get the bottom of the handle. 
Now I'm going to come around. Okay, and that goes underneath, okay? And then this has a, uh, a black handle on it, which is usually made out of rubber. Uh, a rubber handle, insulated. You know, if you're doing, if you're working around uh, uh, electrical wires and so forth, uh, you know, you want to have yourself protected. So this is kind of an insulation. It's also for a comfort of your hands to give you a better grip. A little bit of rubber, a little bit of rubber there would uh, give you a nicer grip with your hand, a nice hand grip. Okay, and I'm also shading this in because it's going to be be darker. Okay, now I'm going to go back and put a little bit of shadow pattern on these, and I'll go back and shade something. There's a little, there's a little, uh, this is not a, a round, this is like a flat surface, so you can see it from the photograph. It's flat on the top and it rounds off, because the light was coming from this direction, from the right. So the top of it's going to have a little shadow up there. So I'm using the uh, lighting that I had uh, uh, from the photograph, which is okay. It shows a little bit of dimension. And the bottom of, let's see the bottom of the handle is also in shadow right here. So I'll, I'll shade that. This is a, this is a uh, 2B, uh, 2B lead, so it's a, it also is, is, is a good drawing pencil, but it's also, I can shade, shade with the same thing. Now here I can uh, sharpen this edge up a little bit. Sharpen up the edge. And I can also put in a little bit of shadow over here. Just a hint, a hint of a shadow, and that shows, you know, the shadow shows you the shape of the, uh, of the tool also. Shadows are very interesting. The shadows can give you a, a hint to the uh, angle and the shape of an object, and this here shows you that, shows you that shape over here, that the, the, uh, the shadow follows the contour of the, of the handle. Okay, then up here, uh, I can darken in the, uh, the top and see what I'll do now um, I'm gonna leave part of this I'm gonna I can darken this part in here and leave some of it open this is dark up here and then uh, I'm gonna leave what I'm gonna do is leave the uh, leave the tip of the hammer or the head hammer head the nail where you hit the the nail, I'm going to leave that, I'm going to leave that white. Okay. Now the, uh, the handle on the screwdriver, it's a shaded here at the bottom. And it's got a, it's got a square shape to it. So I'll give it, I'll give it like an edge, an edge. So if you, if you draw the edge, you'll see, you'll get an indication of the, sh of the shape. And this is flat over here. And this has an edge too, right here. It has an edge right there. Okay, now the, uh, I can also pick up the uh, the shadow pattern. There's a nice, nice big shadow pattern here. It shows the outline of the of the handle right here. Nice. So I can bring that. That follows the contour of the handle. Very nicely. And it goes up to there. I can shade that in. That's the shadow. And I can put a little a little shadow along the edge of the blade, along the edge of the of the major part of the of the screwdriver. And up here, make this a little longer. Okay, now the wrench is not much to that one. I got uh, I got a circle down here, uh, down here. There's a little. That's the wrench up there. This is the uh, part that moves back and forth. This is the uh, screw that controls the gap. Uh, pliers, I've already got the handle done there. Now I'll do a little cleanup uh, on the edges. So this one here I can make it let's smooth out, take out some of the, uh, the rough edges I had here. Make it look a little smoother. Take out some of the extra marks. Of 
Okay, and I'll do some final touches. Um, I really like this pencil. It really is very handy. I do a lot. Of, I do a lot of uh, plain air drawing and sketching, so this comes really handy uh, when I to go outdoors. Uh, uh, plain air, and uh, I carry it in my pocket along with my other pencils. And this this is all, this is a one a one. Uh, it's a one one. Uh, place tool. It, it can draw and I can also shade with it because it has a 2B lead to it. And it's nice and thick so it's not going to break. So this, this pencil was designed for uh, rugged use outdoors. Let's see, I'm going to make this a little, I'm going to make this, uh, make the handle a little darker here. And the shadow just slightly lighter than the handle. So we see a difference. Then up here, I want to take out a little bit of that, uh, okay, <clears throat> that's next, that's next, that's next, okay, work on that. So I'm going to work on this, work on this, uh, work on this part up here. This is the claw, and that can go in a little bit further now, a little bit further. A little bit sharper there. This is rounded, and it's flat on the top. And then there's a little, there's a little uh, groove here, like a little, before it comes out. And this comes up, there's a little groove here also. So that the uh, the tip of the hammer is a little bit wider. <clears throat> a little more. Hey, same thing. I'm going to darken the uh, going to darken the handle a little bit on the edge because that's uh, that'll show the outline of the handle. Just want to show one. There's one corner here. You can see that it's square. The, the other corner is kind of rounded because it's also rounded on the top. And then I want to clean up the clean up the tip a little bit more. Okay, so we're coming along pretty good. Uh, I think you got the idea what you can do, uh, you know, tools, you know, whether you use garden tools or you can draw anything that's uh, something you use. Garden tools is also a popular, uh, popular subject, you know, a hoe and a rake, lawn tools in your garden. Everybody has, everybody has a pot and some flowers or something like that that's also another good another good subject to draw so I recommend you trying those things I'm going to take my blender now and do do a little bit of shading so just a light shadow over here on the uh, and then filling it filling it well I'm, this blender now takes the pencil marks and makes them a little smoother now but I think you get the idea how I did this and that's all I want to show time. We you know put uh, getting the tools, getting your tools out, getting them out, and lay them out somewhere, and uh, either take a photograph or just you can just uh, draw what you see. And that's basically what I do also. Just lay it out and just draw what you see. And then get it, get in the habit of moving things around. You don't have to leave them static. You can try different positions, and uh, you know kind of play with your composition. You know you can have them facing different directions. Now this one here I can put a little shadow down here just to indicate there's a little depth here in this handle or in the claws there. Okay, and this one I can dig, go in really dark. We had a comment 
My husband has lots of tools I can draw. There you go. Oh, I love that. I, that's a great comment. And I know, and I have, everybody thinks has more tools. If, if, you're a, if you're a handyman or a handy person, uh, you normally have all kinds of tools that you buy at the hardware store. Uh, that's one of my favorite places to go. Is, uh, and usually when I go to a hardware store, I usually wind up buying something. This is where I got this pencil. And I saw it on display and I said, wow, let me see what that, and I read the description of it. And so I, oh, I just bought this. And started using it. Okay. Uh, okay, that concludes my uh, demonstration of how to draw a basic tool set. And it could, you could be other tools besides that. Uh, there's other wrenches and pliers and other, other gizmos that people have in their home. But uh, uh, it's to take out your favorite subjects, whatever it is, lay it out, and then learn and just, just draw the shapes. And uh, I take a photograph, so that gives me a good reference also. And uh, if you have, a light, you have a light on it, you can have a little shadow pattern uh, and have, have some fun with it. And uh, as I saw today, I, I took a picture of this with this pliers facing this way, but I realized the slot was on the other side. I just, just turned it around and I go ahead and put it in. I put it into my drawing, okay? And uh, so I hope you enjoyed that. Let's take me back to the main camera. All right. Uh, that's ever having another good time, another a fun night of drawing. So drawing simply with effort. And what I, again, I try to pick simple subjects. You know, I've, I've had some, we had some more complicated subjects uh, before, and uh, I'll, those will be interesting also. Usually, when you have a complicated subject, you take it one piece at a time. You don't get too uh, carried away with trying to do the whole thing at one sitting. You start and you take it piece by piece. And we may try something. We may try something more complicated and. Uh, take it piece by piece. So tonight I thought we would just do a simple drawing with, with some tools laying around. And uh, if you got a toolbox, you can have some fun. So I'll be back next week on Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, also on uh, Thursday I'll be back also with Everest Watercolors at uh, 2 o'clock two p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, I'll, be, I'll put out a little video over the weekend called Anyone can draw with only one line and uh, it's a simple little drawing, but it's, it might be interesting for you to look, check in It'll be a broadcast. It'll, it won't be live. It'll be a video put out on on Sunday on Thursday I'll be back again live uh, simply drawing whatever so until then you all have a safe uh, evening and a safe weekend If they subscribe they'll get all the notifications right. Thank you Gloria if you subscribe to the channel You'll be you'll be notified of the next video that's a good way to look at it. Uh, so until next week, I'll see you then. Uh, it's springtime out there. Time to cut the grass and get outside and get some fun. And while you're out there, uh, draw, take, your, take your tools with you, your garden tools, and do a little sketch. Outside's the best place to draw anyway. Take your pencil and your paper and do a quick sketch. Post on Facebook. Yeah, and we can post that. You can post that on Facebook with Everest Watercolors Art Group on Facebook. A uh, good place to share your, your art and share your drawing and so forth. That'd be a lot of fun. So until next week, I'll see you then. Uh, you all take safe and see you on the next video. Bye.